Okay. That seems to be working. Okay, okay. That seems to be working. That's good, that's good. I'm gonna turn this down a lot. See if that works. Okay. It's a lot quieter in my ear than it is in the uh, recording, so let's hope that works. Well, we are just going to have to save. Anyway. Oop, wrong page. Transitioning. There we go. Alright. Make sure this is correct. And streaming is okay. This transition, that's good. This is fine. Where the key is okay. Let's turn this it's off for a second. Let's test this. Okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. Cool. Got this now. Or at least I've got it back. Let's see what I can do here. Um, CSP window. Oh, shoot. You know what I forgot? Oh, please. I forgot something. What do uh, art stuff? There it is. Better now. Here we go. I have to figure out. Actually, hold on. Very quickly, figure out pen pressure. What are the pen pressure settings of this thing? We should be good. All right. Um, let's get started for real. Uh, hello. Uh, my name is Paolo Jossa. I am the young adult librarian of the Govins branch of the Enoch Pratt Free Library. And welcome to Manga Drawing Lessons uh, Weekly. So I believe this may be, yes, this is. This is going to be one of the last um, Manga Drawing Lessons Weekly that's in this format. Um, and let me show you why. Um, we're actually here at the Govins branch. We're gonna go ahead and open another link. Uh, the next... Hey, this is our homepage. Lots of followers, which is nice. Um, this is our homepage for the library of the Govins branch of Enoch Pratt Free Library. And next week, um, instead of the usual... Sorry, next month. Next month. Thank you. Thank you, Five. Yes, as you can see here, um, Manga Drawing Lessons is going to, it's going to be a little different. Uh, next week, Manga Drawing Lessons is going to switch between, or rather alternate between Manga Drawing Lessons IRL and Manga Drawing Lessons uh, uh, online. What that means is for, hold on, I'm going to switch my view here so you can actually see fancy new uh what's it called um microphone that hopefully you can hear me with a little bit better and a little crispier i love the crisp anyway 
So manga drawing lessons are going to switch between, or rather alternate between, manga drawing lessons IRL, which means I'm actually going to be upstairs now that the library is more open to draw with you guys uh, in the Govins branch. Um, and it's going to uh, alternate between that and the regular lessons that we've been seeing here, meaning I get to teach you guys both um, digital art lessons that we've been doing for the past, wow, past year or so, actually, um, and like more hands-on drawing in the uh, hands-on actual drawing up upstairs. Um, hopefully we'll get into a better style out of that. I don't think I'll be recording it any of the recorded sessions are just going to be the online ones just out of ease um although depending on how i get the setup done i might be able to do an irl one where i have like a camera up here pointing down at this um whatever i'm drawing to show you guys um how i go about it but more to the point um for now it just means the manga drawing lessons are going to look a little different than they usually do um, and that's going to be just fine. It's going to be great, I promise. Now, as before, um, this program is going to be, um, is going to show you how to draw anime and manga characters step by step in weekly sessions, build up a binder of your best drawings, be a real artist, and supplies for the program are available first come first serve in the Govins branch, which, uh, is located in 7, uh, 5714 Bologna Avenue in beautiful Baltimore, Maryland. Um, Follow along uh, here in the YouTube channel, Mag Drawing Lessons channel, and hopefully you can see the various archive of the things we've been drawing the past uh, past few months. It's gonna be great, uh, and hopefully we'll continue um, doing that differently once we get upstairs. Uh, more to the point. Let's get started, shall we? Oh, I should also mention the Mag Drawing Lessons um, folder is always here, always with the lessons, and that whole bunch of um, books and stuff are available in not just in the Govins library, but all throughout Pratt. We've got a decent collection of like how to draw technique books. So if you're thinking of like buying it in Barnes and Noble, I recommend borrowing it first, seeing if you really like it and like the lessons you can glean from it from like a few weeks of um, just using it. I highly recommend that. But for now, we're going to continue our um, style project. Uh, it's called a style replication project, style adaptation project. Follow what you will, it's like a project that I unfortunately wasn't able to do this past June due to life getting in the way, it happens. Um, and But so I still really wanted to really get started, um, get trying to like do it anyway. Uh, so uh, let's, this is the style that we're kind of aiming for, and it's kind of like a more, not, I don't want to say grown up, but rather the non chibi version. Uh, which are, as I'm expecting it, not fast and easy. Um, in fact, it's taken me a lot of like trial and error to really get through not relying so heavily on lines, because that's how my usual art style goes. In fact, that's one of the reasons why I actually, like why I love manga so much is because there's so much emphasis on line, like, line and drawing just like here uh, for um someone's son from our dreams at dusk who's ace by the way an absolutely gorgeous manga i highly recommend uh, reading it um oh that's uh, yasha <laughs> uh, that's yasha from uh, critical role different person anyway let's get started let's get started with some drawing shall we So it took me a second, but I needed to adjust the pen pressure uh, for this uh, lovely um, graphics, not graph, yeah, graphics tablet. Um, it's not a pen display, that's the thing I have at home. Not neat. Oh, it fell asleep. Strange thing. There we go. All right. Round, turn it around. Uh, what's it called? So, um, instead of buying something like the Tourbox Neo, which I highly recommend, even though I don't have one, it's just, um, I bought an 8-bit do, uh, 
what's called a controller like this and it's been super useful in terms of like shortcuts that i use things that i like um so that's always fun let me finish this one this line experiment here i'm trying to lines consistent and they've been working to a certain extent but not as well as i hope we'll see we don't need them to be perfect we just need them to be finished is better than perfect and now i'm just backing myself out oops all right let's bring the menu back let's go ahead and open oh. I think this is actually looking almost finished. Um, just a look here is showing me that um, like the base layers are almost done, um, and we could. Oh my goodness! Oh, that's so funny. Okay, so um, this is basically what this looks like, um, which is on me because it's kind of. Oh, that's what you get for seeing how the sausage is made that looks gross Ooh. <laughs> anywho my hands so itchy i'm gonna do away with this for now my hands itch and not in the fun way mm. <laughs> not that i need it um what's called i don't really don't mind smudging the pen display uh graphic display here um I need it when I'm using the um, pen display because that's literally like matte glass and it's less fun to like having to constantly do what it's called, uh, clean it. Dust will invade every part of your life. It's just how it happens. We are on this um, line here, rather around this layer here. Oh, it's locked. Oh no, it's pixel, it's pixel lock. Why am I using pencil? Uh, no, um, we decided that we wanted to use the G pen here. this a little bit around the corners here a little bit more <laughs> easy on the pen pressure but Now that I think these are different shades of ink, so we can mm -hmm. 
That looks fine. Yeah, fine-ish. When you're this far away, you probably won't see it, and you won't. Uh, let's see. Trying to see detail inspiration here for this. I noticed that there's a bit of bloom here that's like added in between like the various parts to highlight um like the face and stuff while this is very 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 flat and that's fine um that's what we want for now um for now at least change this. Okay. Feels kind of weird that, like, I actually bought my own money, unfortunately, with my a microphone to kind of do all this. But, hey man, I made my grave, now I gotta lie in it. Uh, 
now we're supposed to add I'm just gonna leave it leave it relatively simple here. I think what I want to add now is um nuance. Jazz is making me a little sleepy, I'm not gonna lie. What is oh that gross. Anyway. Slurp stream. Don't forget to keep hydrated, bud. Um, I'm going to look at my inspo board real quick. So there is shadow. Well, that, there are shadows. There are um, shadows, different shades. Um, really thick, boxy outlines between other colors. <laughs> it's kind of hard to figure out where the outlines would be, especially for, like, Stevani here. I feel like I could have made this a little easier on myself had I, um... What's it called? Had I been a bit more... I'll add shadows and stuff later. Otherwise, that's looking a lot more like a jacket. That makes sense. As supposed to just a pink... What's it called? A pink mistake, so to speak. Closer. 
closer. Hey, Tay. <laughs> what is the white box of the uh, second pack? Uh, not gonna lie. I love that meat button. And that's what I get for working in the back office instead of the auditorium, which is unfortunately still rather hot. Not actually hot. Rather hot enough that I would warrant actually using it, just by virtue of... Ooh, folks who take Lexapro are more... need to be more aware of things that might cause heat stroke or heat exhaustion. Uh, because otherwise you might die. You might straight up die. This works. Rather, that should be enough. Uh, we'll work on shadows and stuff later. Uh, let's do. What's it called? Let's figure out the gem right here. Actually, let's save real quick just in case. Uh, navigator, navigator. Looks good enough. Navigator, navigator, let me see. Forgetting to use the goddamn selection tool. Okay. Let's get started, shall we?
Oh, this is going to be fine. Let's see, I hope it's going to be fine. Unfortunately, this looks fine. It's not perfect. No, I don't. I don't like it. from the beginning. As you can see, geometric shapes are a little more difficult if you're kind of torn between doing them freehand and doing them not as properly. Kind of strange, really. I think I'm on the wrong page, literally.
little wonky, but it'll do for now. That is Havani's gem. So basically we're just doing line details at this point, right? <laughs> Actually, we can do the same trick that we did. Select pants. Oop. Select pants. Bend it by a pixel. Alright, sorry about the mute button. Um, like I said, times are tough when you are upstairs in the lower floors. Uh, oh, let me see. I guess that would make sense just to. As you notice, it's gone through some changes as well. Not all of them the same, but I guess it's some character. Kind of.
It's a good song. So I kind of got lost in it a bit. Going together now, which is nice. Um, dang the hands. <laughs> Have a look at those fingies.
Thank you.
I'm speaking into a mute mic. The good news is I'm almost done. The bad news is it's 423. Ugh, not much left to do. And I have to skip this for at least a couple of weeks because the second week, the first week is going to be Mapa Drawing Lessons IRL. But so far, it looks good. Even the littlest details kind of make it pop a lot more, which is nice. Which is very nice, to be honest. I'm gonna call it here. Getting a little too noisy on this part. <laughs>